eight o'clock and time for your programme, Grown Ups, presented by the children. Mr. Murray? Yes? Your car's got a ticket, sir. So your spade's got a handle. Give me some real news. Turn up your radio set. That's right, don't be shy. Approach your radio set and slowly turn up the volume. If you have two volume controls, turn both these volume controls up. That's right. For the surprise of your little life. Have you got your volume full up? Boo. Take, Take a, a chance. chance. Come in. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Forslewer. The, uh, the manuscripts uh, have arrived for your attention. Oh, <laughs> yes, thanks very much. Uh, uh, pleasure, don't miss it. What page is it? Um, it's uh, page uh, 1047. Right, thank you very much. M my pleasure, sir. <laughs> Let's see, 1047. Huh? Oh, here it is. It's marked out for me. Hmm. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobly in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows. Violence, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Of outrageous fortune or... To take arms. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, against a sea of troubles. By opposing in them. To die to sleep. When are they going to learn of violence again? Huh? No more than by a sleep to say we end our heartache in a thousand natural shocks. That flesh... Age restriction. It is a, a, a consummation. Uh, uh, Mr. Ocker? Mr. Ocker? Yes? Uh, come through, please. <laughs> I was waiting in the passage. I thought you might need me. <laughs> a con consummation, yes. Yeah. Yes. What is that? Uh, consummation. Go through to... It's a, uh, it's a consummation. It's a, it's a soup. Just go check on that, please, will you? With Mr. Nell. All right? But it's a cold soup. No, I'd like a double check on that, please. Yes. Thank you. To die, to sleep, a chance to dream. Hey, there's the rub. The rub? Mm. I wonder if that is now a body rub. Well, it could be commercial. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Come in. Uh, Mr. Forslewer, I was quite right. Consomme is a cold, clear soup. Anything else, sir? No, no, I'll, I'll call you. Wait a minute, yeah. Look at yes? this here now. Yes. The calamity of so long life for who would bear the whips and, and scorns. Uh, you know, Ooh. they're giving me the, the perversions and stuff all the time. Wait a minute, please. If only they realized what a terrible job you have. Hey. Right, I'll call you. I'll call you, Mr. Ogre. Thank you. Yes. Oh, well, I don't know. I really don't know. Mm, the presses wrong the proud man's contumely. The pangs of despised love. The law's delay. Mm. The law will not delay. I'll show them about the law delaying. Uh, yeah, now, where am I here? <clears throat> um, insolence of office. And the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. A bare bodkin? Ooh, I don't know how far they're going to push their luck here. <laughs> bodkin is all right, not a bare bodkin. 
Right, section 33A, Mr. Andres Foslo, signed this day of... Um, Mr. Ocker. Oh, coming through all your security doors is quite a... I'm sorry, what? What, what is the, the date today, please? Um, seventh. So eighth. Uh, the 8th yes. of March, eh? That's right, 1973. The 8th of March. Yeah, it's 73. You know what happens to the hares at this time of the year? Yeah, well, that's another story. Which I wonder reminds if you... you reminds me, <laughs> I mean, I must bring you the Lewis Carroll book for review. Yeah, please don't forget that. And, there and is a lot in that book that should be taken out. In any case, Mr. Ogot, I'd wonder if you, you'd mind taking these down to the uh, cinema down the road, please. The manager knows my name. Taking what? Uh, this report here, yeah, this uh, uh, that I've written out from this uh, book. Uh, the manager knows me then. Yes. Thanks very much, Mr. Ogot. Approximately every half hour on this station, you will receive a time check. Be the first to receive your time check. Write to the English service SABC in Johannesburg. Now, uh, would you please step inside the studio and take a seat? Thank you. Well, thanks. Um, uh, for audition. Would you please state your name and address, please? Thank you. Uh, man, uh, um... Please don't hesitate. Uh, Leonard Williams, um, from Rudiper. Is that two L's? Uh, yes, sir. Continue. Well, I've prepared for uh, uh, purposes uh, in, uh, of audition uh, some speeches. Uh, please don't start and stumble. <coughs> I'm sorry. Don't cough into the microphone, please. They're very sensitive. Can I just say I was prepared some of these speeches for audition, sir? You can't say I was prepared some of these auditions. That's completely incorrect. Please well, rephrase. Um, I, I, I've... Uh, the just... water is next to you if your throat is feeling dry. Thanks very much, sir. Um, I've, I've just brought along uh, some Shakespeare which I would like to do for auditioning. Would you like to tell us, the panel here behind the glass, why you have chosen Shakespeare? I feel that uh, there is a, a tremendous range of, of dramatic uh, capability in this man's, uh, you know, what he composed. Uh, he was not a musician. You are aware of that. Well, I thought I'll just start with Hamlet, sir, if I can. Uh, I've, I've, I've got uh, to be or not to be a speech, yes. Sir. Please proceed. Uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings uh, and... Uh, uh, this is a slightly dicey bit. I think we should perhaps move on to something else. Right, well, I've got you from uh, um, Macbeth. Uh, the one of the the speeches I, I don't actually know which of the character is but i did learn the words yeah have i not reason build them as you are saucy and over bold uh, uh, mr williams macbeth is a really a little old hat do you think we could have something else an alternative yes sir uh, well i actually of uh, uh, romeo and juliet uh, uh, i've got one which is a rather ten please please mr williams we have a young audience as well Right. Uh, well, uh, then I, I, I thought maybe that I could just choose uh, 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 something f uh, a bit more way out, like uh, uh, Troilus and Cre uh, Cressida, which are, are quite fancy, some of the, the stuff yet anyhow. Uh, so can I, I'll just go, uh, nothing but our undertakings when we vow to weep, seize, live in fire, uh, eat, eat rocks, ta tame tigers, thinking it harder for our mistress to... No, 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 please, please. Um, uh, would you leave your telephone number with Maud, please? And uh, don't call us, we'll call you. Thank you. Th thank you very much. But I'd actually, uh, I did prefer... Please close the door when you leave the studio. Thank you. I'll just call the other men. It's record time, and here is England, Dan and John Fort Coley. They are to perform... Uh... Uh, Mr. Murray... I'm not here. I'll back announce the record later. Got to see her and hold her. Got to tell her 
I love her. Um, Mr. Marie, was that, that was Carolina's. Party. I'm reading the newspaper, Carolina, please. by, uh, You should rehearse your lines. Sorry. Good gracious, did you see what happened here on page seven? Carolina by, uh, All this violence in England, this world, Jack really, it's Don shocking. Foley, Don Foley, something I think like I'd rather read the comics. In any case, I'll check up on that for you, Mr. Marie. <laughs> It's that rather special time on the English service that's come round once again when we explore some of the wonderful oldies that have really made their mark and ask our panel whether they can identify the artist involved and also the tune. So here we go then on the English service with our special quiz uh, feature and the panel and the whole uh, bang shoot and the works on our own show called Fortune Go Round. There's our theme banging away in the background, and I'd like to welcome, uh, for a start, two, two well-known people, very well-known to you, I'm sure, Johnny Talker, and also uh, David Davis, uh, as well as Mr. Greetings, uh, and uh, hello again, everybody, uh, and uh, to you, and to you, and especially to you, uh, hello, and good evening. Uh. Hello there, David, and uh, uh, thank you very much indeed, uh, uh, Charles. We're, uh, I'm, uh, we're, we're very uh, pleased to be on your show to explore some of these old uh, ventures into the world of music and recording. And, uh, in fact, uh, we're quite delighted. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, uh, what should I say but welcome to you, David. Lovely to be back on the programme. But don't let us hold up proceedings. There are also yeah. other members on the panel, so, Mr Chairman, please. Right. Um, thanks, then, very much. And we welcome Mr Voter um, Murray here. Thank you very much, yes. And uh, also, of course, Miss Sonita uh, Rabinovitz. Yes, thanks. Well, of course, I, I've known uh, Mr. Davis for a long time. On the, yes, a big of fan course, of I know, Sanita. <laughs> and, of course, Mr. Talker also. Yes, well, well, thank you very much indeed, uh, Sanita. We're, we're pleased to, uh, and proud, I might say, to be on the show. And we hope we can be of some value and assistance here on this quiz feature. Right, well, we won't waste any more time. I think get on with the thing and, and carry on then with the first record. Okay, Many months have come and gone since I wandered from my home in those Oklahoma hills where I was born. Though a page of life is turned and a lesson I have. Well, there we go then. Um, uh, a voice I'm sure familiar to many of you, and also a, a, a ditty I'm sure that won't place probably too many problems here. Um, can we start now uh, with uh, perhaps, I think, ladies first, Miss S Sunita Rabinovitz? Uh, well, come on, Sunita. Well, I, I just never. I just don't know. Mm, come along, oh, Sunita. In I'm 1947, sure uh, it was holding Plek Novoseva on the hit parade. Uh, all right, then, Miss Rabinovitz, you pass for the time being. Uh, what about you, Mr. Davis? Well, it's a funny thing. I remember this particular record very well indeed. And uh, strangely enough, though, uh, the title and the artist completely slips my mind. I well, must I, I, knock I and pass. All right. Um, uh, what about you then, Mr. Talker? Well, I, I think, you know, if my memory serves me correctly, I, this sounds extremely like uh, Dizzy Cassidy. Uh, uh, Dizzy was a very, very big country feature artist who came, I think, uh, from Mississippi. In the in the in the good old days, <laughs> you remember the, the 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 Mississippi Ramblers, of course, uh, David. Don't do I, John? Of course. So I'm going to put forward my vote, uh, Dizzy Cassidy, and uh, uh, I think his group was called the Rovers, Dizzy Cassidy and the Rovers, with the Oklahoma Blues. Uh, I'm afraid may, that's not right. Uh, you might you might have had a mental sort of roadblock there. Uh, we'll pass it over to you, Mr. Murray. Well, um, I happen to remember this because it is part of my old record collection my 78th record collection, which I have up in the attic in the trunk. It is Doy O'Dell and the Cass County Boys with Oklahoma Hills. You are completely correct. I think we'll have a round of applause here from the... Never heard of it. Never panel. heard of it at all. You've heard of it, John. Oh, I, I can't say I can place my mind on that particular feature. Well, anyway, I, I think we'll carry on to the next record, and that gives Mr. Murray uh, ten points there for the title and five points um, for the uh, getting the name of the artist. And oh, uh, lucky me. We'll carry on now to the now record number two. Now, 
Well, there we go. There's some lovely, um, uh, if I may say so, some lovely tickling of the ivories. And um, I thought it was quite atrocious myself. Well, I think it may be debatable, but anyhow, we'll carry on then. And starting off with uh, this time, I think, with uh, um, with you, Mr. Murray, as you won the last well, round. Well, to me, it sounded like uh, Fats Waller, Alligator Crawl. No, I think you're a little oh. bit off the bean there. What about you, Mr. Talker? Oh, I think there's no question there. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, David, it must have been that lunch. Uh, there's no question of the, oh, of the style. Oh, that's kitty, kitty. It, it sounds extremely to me uh, almost as though it could be a sort of a, a muted Fats Domino. But uh, I think Fats basic... Fats Domino? Yeah, but you know the Trumpy style he used to have and the sort of uh, commercial well, exploration. Of Walla, surely. No, but I tell you what I'm going to go for, David. I'm going to go for... Um, what's the man's name? Um, he did those uh, jazz... Plenty of jazz, good, heavy, uh, mid-coast jazz records... Uh, th- this was, uh... Willie Fred Atwell. No, no, no. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Peterson. Isn't that right? Oh, I, Oscar no, I, Peterson. I'm sorry. Yes. No, no you're, you're a little bit off the mark. What about you, uh, Ms. Rabinovitz? Well, I'm going to have a, a daring sort of, uh, a bash here. I'm going to put all my money onto, uh... Well, get on with it, uh, Senator. Floyd, Floyd Kramer. No, I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's not quite as country as Kramer. Uh, so we'll have to hand it over now to Mr. Davis. David Davis, what do you feel about the record? Well, I thought, is it not perhaps Johnny Maddox playing Hawaiian Moon? No, I'm sorry, you're all wrong. It's Rosetta. I've got the notes here. Rosetta and is, uh, what is that? Villegas? I don't know. Or, is all village or something? Anyway, well, we we'll go on to the Mr. next Teller, record. You're the title's... supposed to be telling us. Any case, let's not waste time. Here's record three. <laughs> Right, there we go, the dulcet tones of a... a um, I think we can quite safely say that he's Italian, at least I think he's Italian, troubadour and balladeer, and all that sort of thing. And we hand it over right away to uh, Mr. Davis to start with. Well, I, I thought perhaps it's Mario Lanza. No, I think it's Is probably... it not Mario Lanza? It, it... Oh, whoa, David, I think it's a little too mellow for something like Lanza. Yes, I think well, I, uh... I mean, I thought perhaps it was Maria Lanza singing quietly. Cr- I'm going to plumb for something like Fausto Papetti. Oh, no, sorry, that's the saxophonist. Uh, no, I'll go he, for... Uh, I think I'm going to go for a, 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 a rather daring venture and say a softer a tru- form of Bobby Solo. Fausto no, Papetti sorry. is a Solo's, trumpet Solo player. Solo sounds like Presley. He's the Elvis Presley voice. What about you, Miss uh, Rabinovich? Well, you know, I'm still out of my depth, but I think I, I'd probably say um, Enrico Mar- Morricone. No, Morricone is the... Uh, uh, David is the he orchestral leader, the radio, isn't he? Isn't he? No, I think you're a bit off the beam. You're going to have a try, Mr. Murray, before I gong you out here. I, uh, I, I, I think... I think... You're still in the lead, of course, I... with them um, 15 points. The rest yes, have all right. scored. I've got nothing to lose then, have I? Well, get on with it. What do you think, then? Well, I think that it's very possibly um, a very rare recording of Perry Como singing in Italian. No, I think you're a bit off the beam. It's Enzo Gallo, or Gallo, or whatever it is, and oh, uh, oh, Rondinella, oh, Rondinella, oh, Little Sparrow. And here we go with number four. <laughs> Down in the woods today, oh, you're I sure know of what a big is. surprise. I know what that was. If you go down yes. in the woods Mind today, you, you better go in disguise. Not at all. But, um, For every bear. I, I, may I answer this first? Yes, right over then, Mr. Murray. Off you go. Teddy Bear's picnic. Right, first time, artist. Artist. Kate Smith. Unfortunately, off the beam there. What about you, Mr. Talker? N- Nana, Nana, well, I recognize... Nana Tompkins. I uh, know. I, I think you're a bit, a bit off there, Voto. I think uh, 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 this voice is familiar to many people. I'd go for a, a sort of country feel and Patty Page. No, no I'm that's sorry. not Patty Page, John. Couldn't possibly be. Yeah, but I thought I recognized the husky tones there. Well, I'm going to go straight in and say Rosemary Clooney. 
Absolutely got... right. You're doing marvellously there, Miss Rabinovich. What's that, Rosemary? There Kimmy? you go. Five points for the artist. And now what about Who the title? The Teddy Bear's Picnic. Grand Slam, Yes, but I points. already gave the title. No, no, no. I got ten points for the title. Sanita must only get five points for giving the artist. Oh, you didn't, did you give the title? Of course I gave the I'm title. I'm sorry, yes, that's right. Picnic. Well, then it's ten uh, to Mr. Murray, bringing him up to 25, and five points to Miss Rabinovitz, and here's the final record. Right, now that's... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I nearly gave it away. Um, <laughs> what about you then, Mr. Davis? Ah, I'm glad you asked. Because I know exactly who that is. And I know John Talker is sitting over there smiling at me from ear to ear because he remembers the days uh, when we did a show, or shows, for that matter, during the war, with... Uh, now, who was it? I can't remember. Now, John, you remember, right? Yes, I think it was probably somebody like uh, Bob Ford, I think it probably was, uh, in, the, in the old no, days. No, I mean singing. singing oh, there, singing, yes. Uh, oh, yes, it's uh, Gracie Fields. That's right. I think Nico was on the show. He was a child prodigy at that time. Well, I put me down for Gracie Fields, singing... Uh, well, I can't uh, put you down, Blow the wind. All right, I'll put you down, but unfortunately you go right down the drain with that one because it's not right. What about you, Miss Rabinovitz? Well, I think it sounds extremely like, um, um, what's her name? Anne Shelton. No, no, I think it's this, um, this opera singer in a far lower tone, uh, uh, Mar Maria Callas. So I'm going to plumb for that, uh, and the title, I would say, is, uh, well, I'll go Blow the Wind Southerly. Well, that was an incredible guess there. Blow the Wind Southerly is quite right, so for that, there's, um... I can't remember what the points are. We'll give you ten anyway. Unfortunately, it's not Maria Callas. What about you, Mr. Murray? Well, I I think um, that was Luli, Lulu Nilava. No, unfortunately not right. One more guess. Uh, I think it's Kathleen Ferrier. Absolutely right. And that's ten points to you there, Mr. Chalker. Final score is Mr. Murray, 25. Ten to Mr. Chalker. We have five points for Ms. Rabinovitz. And, uh, Mr. Murray, I've lost your score. I put it down here somewhere. Anyway, we'll be I back next week score at the next time with another section of, um, of all these, um, favourites, I suppose you'd call them. Thanks very much, anyway, for coming along. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll do that. Okay. Right. Cheerio, Mr. Sol. Bye-bye.